I request you students, please do not go out without any reason. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Well, today we are going to learn 4th Standard Environmental Studies Part 1, first lesson, which is the life cycle of animals. This is very interesting lesson students. So, let's be done. Can you tell? Look at the puppies and their mother in the picture. Do you see some similarities? Yes students, can you see some similarities between puppy and the mother? Yes, they exactly look like each other. Look at the butterfly and caterpillar that, come, that has come out of the egg. Do you see any similarities? No. Caterpillar and the butterfly is totally different to look. Okay. Can you check? A hen lays eggs. Chickens come out of those eggs. Yes. Hen is laying eggs. And little chickens are coming out of those eggs. Do kitten comes out of the eggs? No. Kitten don't come out of the eggs. It comes out there of their mama's tummy. Okay. The growth of animals. A king and a fully grown goat are not very different to look at. There is not much difference between a kitten and an adult cat. These babies grow in their mama's mother's tummy and are grown from mother's tummy too. These animals do not lay eggs. But some animals like crows, spiders, lizards lay eggs. Yes, kitten goats doesn't lay eggs. The baby is grown from the tummy. Okay, they are grown in the tummy and they are coming out of, they to take birth out of their tummy only. Okay, whereas spider, lizards, insects, they lay eggs. Okay, a chicken is born from an egg. Ants, butterflies, fish, frogs, snakes are all animals that lay eggs. But we do not often see their eggs. Yes, have you seen any lizard's egg? Have you seen any spider's egg? Yeah, have you seen the butterfly's egg? We don't often see. Why don't we see? Let's see. The eggs of some very small animals are very tiny. Why we don't see their eggs? Because this, their eggs are very tiny to see. We wouldn't hardly notice them. So, we do not come to know that these animals lay eggs. Okay, they are laying eggs but we don't know why because we have never seen them. So we don't know whether they lay eggs or they come out of their mama's tummy. But the truth is that they lay eggs. But we know for sure that a hen lays eggs. But we know hen lays eggs. Why we know? Because her eggs are bigger enough to see easily. Because the hen's eggs are seen easily. Okay, because they are big in size. Okay. A neuter. What is neuter for you? Going to come hatch. When hen sits on her eggs to warm them, she is said to be hatching her eggs. Now what is hatching? Let us see. A hen lays eggs. One is necessary for the chickens to grow inside the egg. Okay? When a uh, hen lays eggs, what happens? It doesn't keep like that. She regularly keeps sitting on them. Why do uh, that hen go like that to hatch. She is hatching. She is giving warm to the eggs. Why she is giving warm to the eggs? Because it requires warm to the chickens in the egg to grow. When chickens are in the egg, they require warm to grow. Okay, that is why she is hatching. So after laying them, the hen sits on eggs to keep them warm. Chicken inside slowly keep growing. Has the what is growth is completed? When its growth is completed, the chicken spread eggshells and comes out. Okay? When the growth of the chicken is completed, it breaks out the eggs and comes out of them. The hen looks after its chickens till they grow a little bigger. Till the time they are little bigger, the mama uh, hen look after their uh, look after their chickens till they are enough grown to handle themselves. Okay. Do you know when a hen is hatching her eggs, she becomes aggressive for fear of their safety. She attacks anyone who tries to go near the eggs. Okay? When she is hatching or when she is taking care of their egg, of her eggs, when anybody is trying to go near her eggs or trying to take her eggs, she is becoming aggressive and attacking on the person. 
So never go near a hatching hen. Okay. Use your brain power. What are the similarities between the hen and her chicks? Can you see any similarities in the picture? Yeah. Chickens has two legs. The hen also. Means they look like the mother. When they will grow, they will exactly look like a hen mother. Yeah. Okay. Now let us see metamorphosis. There are similarities between a goat and its kid, and between a hen and her chick. However, caterpillar and butterfly are very different. Okay, there are similarities between goat baby and uh, goat kid and goat. There is similarities between chicken and hen, but there is no similarity between caterpillar and butterfly. Yeah, why? Let us see. Thus, in some animals, the young one grows into an adult animal that looks very different from the young one. These changes of form is called metamorphosis. Okay, when the young one grows to an adult and it looks too different from the young one, it, that process is called metamorphosis. What? Metamorphosis. Okay, what is metamorphosis in a butterfly? Butterfly of various shapes and beautiful colors are part of our environment. They live, they live among plants. Yeah, we all like butterflies. Whenever we see butterfly, we get too happy and we are trying to catch. But it is wrong to catch them. We should not catch them. Well, now they are part of our animal and uh, animal and environment. Okay, now they are spending most of their time and life on trees or plants only. As butterflies grow, they passes through four stages. As you can see the four stages here. Uh, these are egg, larva, egg, larva, pupa and adult. You can see uh, the adult stage is called butterfly. The adult stage is called butterfly. The plain type of butterfly is very common. One. Let us take its example to see how the growth of butterfly takes place. Yes, the this plain tiger butterfly. Everybody has seen this butterfly. It's nearby. If there will be some pots of flower, it will come near the flower. So it is very normal. Now we will see how does the butterfly grow. A female plain tiger butterfly lays an egg on the milkweed. Louis leaf in six to eight days. The larva emerges from egg. The larva of butterfly is called caterpillar. Okay. Now the butterfly, what is she doing? She is giving her eggs on milkweed plant. Okay, like that. And then what happened? The larva comes out of that. What does larva for? Larva is called as caterpillar. This like that. Okay. When caterpillar comes out of the egg, it is very hungry. It begins to nibble and eat the very leaf on which it emerges from the egg. It eats very fast, so its growth is very rapid. Now you can see it is eating all the leaves on which it took birth, and it is very hungry when it takes birth. So the how it is eating very hurriedly, it is its growth is also very rapid. Okay. Now new them for you mold to shed old skin to make a way for new growth. Okay, what is meant by mold to shed the old skin? They are removing their old skin and being, uh, becoming and wearing a new skin, not wearing and buy from market, not like that. They are uh, naturally they are getting a new skin. Okay. The caterpillar of plain tiger butterflies grow so rapidly in the first two or three days. That is just not fit in its skin anymore. But under the old skin, a new loose skin is formed on the growing caterpillar. Then the caterpillar sheds the old skin that is it molds. Yes, the larva has the skin on it but it is not fixed. Why? Because it is getting bigger and bigger because it is giving too much. So, uh, 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 as it is removing the old skin, the other skin is formed inside. And it is called mold. Again, to begin to gobble up the leaf and continues to grow rapidly. In two or three days, it molds a second time. 
it is uh, eating more and more and second time it is changing the skin in this way it molds four times and in this way it molds four times four times changing skin it remains in the caterpillar stage for 10 to 12 days for 10 to 12 days it will be the in the same stage then what happened just before the last month of caterpillar weaves a button of silken thread on a stalk of leaves and hang itself from it okay just a it is going to mold for four times just before that what the caterpillar is doing it is hanging itself through the on the stem of the plant and covering it from the silken thread okay silk thread it is covering it from then what happened uh, when it molds this time it forms a pupa which is next stage of its growth the pupa of our butterfly is also called tracellus okay now it forms a pupa you see this uh, this this structure is called pupa it also it also called tracellus okay okay now let us see when it is small this time it forms a pupa which is changed next year its growth the pupa of butterfly is also called, also called chrysalis it remains inside the chrysalis for next 11 or 12 days it does not eat anything during this stage during this stage a uh, larva or chrysalis pupa doesn't eat anything okay and how many days it remains for the same next 11 or 12 days okay however inside the chrysalis important changes taken place in body the growth of plain tiger gets completed inside chrysalis then the adult butterfly emerges from the chrysalis it now has four attractive wings and six long legs all butterflies go through these stages of growth now in the same chrysalis the butterfly would grow all things her wings legs everything will, will grow very well and it will finally comes out it will have four attractive wings colorful wings and four long hair six long legs beautiful structure of butterfly which we like a lot now let's see do you know for each type of butterfly the type of plants on which those which its female lays eggs is fixed different type of butterfly different type of type uh, of they lays their eggs on different type of leaves of the plant the time the larva takes to emerge from the eggs is different for different types of butterfly now we were learning about plain tiger butterfly for other butterflies these stages are different there is a great type of variety in caterpillars different types of caterpillars are of different colors yes you have seen many kind of caterpillars their body is long many type of caterpillars are hairy many type of caterpillars are hairy to look okay do you know after we have cleaned the grain we buy we store it in a box even then when we open the box after some days we we may see some insects in it have you ever saw this yes we are buying uh, grains and we are washing it drying it and keeping it in a container but after some time if you will open the container you will find some insect in it how do they come inside if the cap was closed how they are coming inside let us see there can be insect in the grain stored in the place like warehouse in the grocery shop or even in our home now if a female insect lays eggs in its grain we cannot see them because of its tiny size okay now insects can be anywhere if the female insect lays eggs on the grain what we have brought or we have kept in the box if she lays eggs on it we will not even know because it's very tiny and we can't see them okay now if a female the mom and the uh, they get in box in which grain is stored is enough for them to grow. Now what a worm and air that uh, which is stored in the box it is enough for their growth. The, they don't require much air like us. Okay. We also have some stages of growth namely air, larva, pupa and other. They also have these kind of stages. When we open the box we see the insect in the grain at the different stages 
of growth in which they are okay when we are opening the box we can see the insect and previously there were no insect because they have grown in it okay now let us uh, let us have quick revision what we have learned okay first a hen sits on her eggs to hatch them the fully grown chicks breaks the action and comes out second enter the pupa larva presses pupa and adult are four stages of life cycle of a butterfly the plain child of butterfly lays eggs on the leaves of milkweed plant the larva emerges from the egg it is called the caterpillar when the growth of caterpillar is completed it enters pupa stage during which it lives inside the chrysalis the adult butterfly emerges from the chrysalis it has six long legs and four attractive wings as we learned in previous so how was the lesson isn't it so interesting okay now always remember but butterflies are a part of our environment it is wrong to catch them butterflies just for fun and to keep tied in the sting i have so many children what they are doing they are catching the butterfly tying with a thread and enjoying that they are doing uh, for just for fun they are uh, doing this but it is very wrong we should not be why because they are also part of our environment they are part of us okay so never uh, abuse any animals okay thank you so much take care of yourself thank you